Hello guys, let's see how you can send messages with SendHype. When you first open the app, you're going to see the Messages tab, but I want to show you all the main sections. Let's go to Groups first, where we'll create our first list. Tap New and then type a name for your group. Now, let's add some contacts. Just check all the contacts you need to add to your group. You can also use the top search bar to find people faster. This window can help you mass edit your contacts by using the edit button or by simply swiping left. You can also change the contact order if you need to. Okay, this looks pretty good. Let's move to the messages tab and create our first message. First, you need to select a group. Next, we're going to enter a title. We'll call this meeting. And now for the message content, I'm using a text I typed earlier. Notice the toolbar buttons. We have a lot of placeholders that will be replaced when we send the messages. I'm going to use first name for this example. We have some details listed here, such as group, number of attachments, and the current progress. Let's go ahead and tap send and pick one of the two delivery modes. We're using the normal mode, which first sends the messages one by one. All our messages are now sent. Let's try the advanced mode now. We're going to duplicate our existing message using the right swipe gesture. A new message has been created, and it's actually a clone. I'm going to tap Send and pick the second option. The Shortcuts app has been launched, and you can see it sending the messages without any intervention. You'll get a few progress notifications, and when all the messages are sent, we'll return to the main app automatically. Great! Now you know how to send messages using both the normal and the advanced mode. Thanks for watching.